Tell you what, I'm excited. We got here yesterday evening. We got rained out this morning. We got five inches since we got here yesterday. Yeah. My meat missiles, don't want to mess them up. Tell you what, we uh, it's mid turkey season. Hopefully we'll get a gobbler, but I'm actually going after a good hog. Steve shot three under the kill light last night. We we're up kind of late. I'm glad we decided to sleep in instead of turkey hunting. It rained us out anyway. But uh, tell you what, we got about 30 minutes to get to this feeder before it goes off. Hopefully I'll get a hog. Shane was here last and he didn't uh, he didn't have any come in, so hopefully something will happen tonight. As you can see, this particular setup we got here, got a couple of tripods back in this tree as far as we could. There was no cover on the front. And you know, the deer hogs were all busting this. There's much turkey in here as well. You know how their eyes are. We actually uh, made a little wrap, got a piece of EMT pipe, bent it around, had some T-posts holding it up. Just hung cedar on the branch. Gave us like a real nice little cover, a little shooting ray, a little wrap. But it worked out really good for us. Tell you what, a great tip that has really helped me. Just tie a simple piece of thread on your stabilizer. Always know your wind direction on the way to your stand or before you go to your stand. You can check it real quick. Very simple. Just a slash breeze I'll let you know what's going on. Doesn't cost anything. Very easy, very simple, very cheap. A lot of times this has saved us on the way to a setup. We've decided because of the way the string's blowing to change locations immediately while we're in the field. Another thing is, sometimes we'll see some hogs that we don't expect. We'll put a stock on them by constantly paying attention to where that thread's blowing. We know exactly where we need to be to get in close enough for the shot. So, very, very helpful if you haven't already done that. Got to do it. Awesome. Very effective and expensive thing that you can do to up your odds.
Well, here she is. I'll tell you what, we decided to wait, see if any of those other big hogs came in. We, we saw some big ones back in the woods that we just knew were gonna come in, and we figured we'd give them some time. Besides that, I wasn't sure of the shot on this one. We, uh, we waited till dark, we went back and reviewed the footage, could tell we needed to let this hog sit a little while and uh, had some dinner and just gave it some time, which is the right thing to do. We might not have recovered otherwise. We're sitting on about, it's almost it's almost three in the morning right now. We just found her. I'm very, very excited, although I'm tired. I might not seem too, too thrilled right now, but we still got some cleaning to do. It's starting to mist rain on us. We're gonna get back and uh, get this hog on some ice, and that was fun. That was a good hunt.